All right, uh, this board is for a securitization defense of creditor, creditor lawsuits, I said in part one. Part two, we examine the role of the debt buyer and the debt buyer that's buying a, a, a separate kind of lawsuit. This new securitization, where there's no bones about it, these companies, Lending Club, Cross River, Web Bank, any student loan trust sort of, an upstart network, their whole thing is we're going to securitize the debt as soon as you sign. <laughs> Whereas in the first part, we looked at creditors and how they have a choice. They can say, maybe we're going to securitize, which they all do, but maybe we won't. Whereas in the second part that's coming up, these companies have said, we're getting money from a securitized trust, then we're lending it, and then that debt is immediately being securitized. We don't want it, we don't want to service it really. We have these other companies that service it. So for example, Cross River Bank will lend you money, the Upstart Network, who's behind the whole thing, they will service the debt. And then when you default, it's already gone way, way away. And various entities of several trusts have made tons of money off before it even gets to your lawsuit. And then the debt buyer comes along and says, hey, we want the whole thing. So that's part two. You're looking at the third entity that's suing you, a debt buyer, or a debt buyer that's collecting for a regular debt, like MCM, PRA, Cross Crown Asset, LOV, LVMD funding. If you, the difference is when you see a company like Velocity Investments, their whole model is to collect for these, this new AI platform securitization lending. So that's part two of this two-part series on how to defend against the four types of debt collection lawsuits you're going to be facing. And if you watch this video, you're in great shape. Thank you.